Hello everybody again. Remember this one? Leileo Catleo Orange Nugget Dresden. I got it from Gross Reschner Orchidin. And well, when I put Provoke into a title, yes, I don't have to tell you anymore. So based on the problems I'm having with this orchid on the leaves, as you can see, right here especially, I am going to take it apart from the back end of the rhizome back here, because now is the time. I have enough roots in the pot in the front that I can use. And with inorganic media, I am not concerned about disturbing those roots too much. In addition to that, I've got three new growths coming. Before I'm going to take this uh, orange nugget, I keep thinking golden, I don't know why golden nugget. Well, maybe I do. Um, before I take this orange nugget out of the pot, I am soaking it in a full, full soak of um, fertilized water. 300 ppm, including the calcium nitrate, etc., etc., just to loosen these kind of roots here that are clearly traveling around the pot before we do any further damage until we know more. Every root is precious. Afterwards, we can be a little bit more decisive about what we are removing, but for the time being, 30 minutes in the pot give it a soak and then I shall take it out. I thought it might be of interest to see how it comes out very easily with this inorganic media. And then we can all assess the outcome, the result of two years growing in this media, which is not too bad. These roots down here have found their way into my wire doohickey. We'll just squeeze them out. And we can get rid of this because I'm going to replace it with something fresh and new and shiny and white. Here's my microfiber that also is attached to some roots. Other than that, looking pretty good after 30 minutes soaking. It came out relatively easy, easier than I expected to be honest. And we have some old roots and some that I can save with regards to the next potting up. All right. That was amazing. So one microfiber remains and one is over here still stuck in the pot. And what are we going to do next is to cut the rhizome. I'm not going to chop up individual roots until I haven't cut the rhizome because a lot of what could be dead is at the back here anyway. I don't see much, but there, there, there are some. All right, next step. <clears throat> Get a bit closer. And I have three new growths coming here in the front. I do want to get rid of as much as I can of the back and I will not be saving this because it is in a sick plant but I don't want to forfeit too much so three new growths with one, two, three, four. Even though they're not healthy bulbs they are better off than the ones in the back. I'm going to cut right here a new root growing, of course. 
right at the tip there. It always has to be that way, doesn't it? There's always got to be that one little niggly thing. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. Watch the new growth. Grab my sterilized clippers. And I hope that you can see this, otherwise there's no point in filming this. Got it. And then we just go in there. No fear. <laughs> no fear. And make a cut. And release the back. This Lekka now, I will not repot it in the same pot when I pot up this cutting. This Lekka will now go straight into being sterilized. Normally I wouldn't mind, but as I'm trying to see if I can make this orchid outgrow whatever illness it has, I will be using fresh sterilized Lekka so as to eliminate another possible infection point that includes the microfiber. I will put these into bleach, I will get them boiled and all that business, I will wash them and then they'll be ready to go for another stint but not, I'm not repeating these in the new setup, the new media and that is an exception because if you have a healthy plant, you can reuse the media. No problem whatsoever. So let's have a look. My point of interest is the rhizome. If there is anything wrong with the rhizome, we are one step closer to understanding what the problem is right there but I don't see anything wrong so that's not an issue the rhizome isn't the problem it is definitely something a little bit more substantial and it has nothing to do with the F word just gonna take out some roots that I see and there's not many these roots are absolutely tip-top condition. In the process, I broke a new growth. I'm not too concerned. Honestly, I mean, if it was another orchid, I would be so upset, but not in this case. There's plenty of eyes. It'll gr it'll shoot out another one. But just to let you know, I thought I was being cautious and I wasn't cautious enough. Next step, and let me just before I reiterate that, when you see new growths on your cattleyas or anywhere, they feel so hard to the touch. But yet again, Despite I'm thinking I'm super careful, boom, I snapped the growth off. So they're hard as a rock when you touch them, but don't be fooled. <laughs> just, you know, mine, mine just came off. Having said that, again, I'm trying to save this. I've already made my piece if I lose this orchid. I'm trying to save her. Um, if I have to throw her away after what I'm trying to do in this season, plus one more, if I don't see an improvement, she's a goner anyway. Um, I don't want a virus orchid in my collection. So what is this Kool-Aid? This is a copper-based fungicide with which I am going to soak her one hour just the leaves and another hour just the roots. But again, new growths. If this was a precious, precious orchid to me, I would be absolutely gutted. So 
do not misinterpret it, my my reaction to oh she doesn't care it's I've made my peace with this orchid so I lost a new growth it's a lesson for my next repot with for example if I ever have to do something with my maxima and I have this situation I shall always remember this moment one hour soak okay it's been quite some time time to get this potted up my microfiber the one I've chosen for this one is too thick so I'm just going to cut it into strands in order to give me two thin ones I've chosen a smaller pot as well because now I've cut so much off the plant it doesn't need that big a pot. Let's get this microfiber in here. I'm trying to move slowly. All right, that's one. And here is the second one. With a loop. Now all I need to do is make another little stand thing because I have replaced it from the other one with a sellotape around it. I think this one can get a snazzy one. Even if this plant uh, gets thrown away eventually, I can sterilize this white wire as it is plastic coated and still re reuse it. Let's just wind up a little curl. it a little bit to the back of the pot somewhat size wise to just help stabilize it a bit better the weather cannot make up its mind we are in almost mid-may but it's got this glowy blustery feel to it is it gonna rain is it not we're expecting rain tomorrow which is a good thing and great comes already for that there we go that's my little makeshift support let's see out of the way, put you in. That's perfect. I can work with that. Just to get this one a little bit more flattened so it settles on the bottom a little bit better. There we go. All done. Now to the next step. My goodness. When I do this on other occasions, I never realize how many steps are involved because I just go ahead and do it. But with filming, it's a little bit different. I'm gonna get rid of this and make my life a bit easier. And bring up my lecker. The other lecker, including the pot, including the microfiber, is all in ble uh, bleach now. 
Now, I normally do not bleach my liquor, but because of this situation, it is now in bleach for disinfecting purposes. So this root system is absolutely fine, except for this one back in there. But what I'm going to do as a further measure, just because it is a branching root system, I'm going to trigger it to get more roots branching. I'm just going to chop off the bottom part. I have plenty of healthy roots to do this with. If I was stuck for roots, I wouldn't do this. No way. Every root is precious. In this case, I have enough and I can be a, li be a little bit more radical. Also start the orchid off with a better oxygen supply inside the pot. You wrap yourself around the top of the pot lots and lots so you can come off. You're okay. Hardly any dead roots in here. This is great. Two years in LECA and self-watering. Absolutely pleased with that result. Highly recommended. Simply because the roots are all firm and all healthy. All right. There's that done. Let's get you situated. The cut in the back. Shift the orchid to the back of the pot. Allow for the growth to move forward. I may not need this wire, but I have it there nonetheless. And my lecker is now underneath the loop. So the back of the orchid goes to the back and we will situate it in the pot. Come ça. Nice. I go down a bit deeper as per usual. I go in a bit, lower it lower than I would have it normally positioned. Because then all I have to do, if I want to raise it up and fill around the lecker, it makes it easier to lift it up and the lecker will settle in around the bottom, as opposed to having it up too high, being stuck with having to start again. Watch the new growth. I already broke one. Okie dokie. Off we go. I want to try and hold the plant and the pot so I'm not jiggling around too much on my table here. It's a bit diff awkward. Okay, it's going to get jiggly. Sorry. A little bit more around the back side here. And then we'll see if all this has any rhyme or reason. Honestly, there is no cure for uh, viruses. There's no cure for parasites either, but uh, that's a different story. There is no cure for viruses in an orchid. I have never seen an orchid grow out of a virus. 
But again, it's the first time I'm actually dealing with a virus in my collection. So let's see. That's all it is. That's all it takes. And then I'm just filling up with plain water because it had a big dose this morning of fertilized water. So this is just plain water. And the reason I do that, even though the roots were cut, is because these roots are accustomed to a wet environment. And I don't want them to think that anything else has happened other than the back end has been chopped off. Which, by the way, off camera, I did um, put cinnamon on the cut so that it could dry out in order for me to then make this video while the rhizome was drying out as well, while the leaves were soaking in the fungicide. So I just make a little loop around the back here on these because I, um, I have almost poked my eye out a few times on my orchids that have these needle-like leaves. So, goodness me, I can just see something else happening and it's not an orchid that does it. I sterilized my tag as well. Now let's see if this actually does anything. You can see where I broke the eye, the one growth. But there is two here and there is another bulge on this growth right back here. It might now trigger that bulge to produce a growth. And there it is. Drenched and drowned treated. Let's see what it does from here on in. I appreciate you watching and sticking by me through all these different steps and cuts and clips and jiggles. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Be safe. Bye.